Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I got from Sephora, and I know, I know, I told you guys, I'm not buying any more makeup, but this is the thing! This is something really cool. I was seeing this all over YouTube, and I just, I had to get it because one, I'm a 90s baby, and you know what's a, one thing about being a 90s baby? Is when you were elementary school, your parents would take you to 7-Eleven, okay? My dad would be like, oh, do you want a ring pop? What flavor ring pop do you want? It was like, that was just the vibe. It, it was the ring pops and then those like sugar sticks where it's like sugar and then you dip it in sugar. Those are like the two things that I would always get from 7-Eleven. So I got two things. So I got the milk makeup, the little jelly sticks. I got it in Splash, which is the darkest shade. I know, but the thing is I don't want red because I already have the Benefit Benetint. And I don't know, I just... I want to be in this era. I saw this one video from Morgan Turner. She was swatching the darkest one and then the lightest one. And I actually like the way that the darkest one looked. And first of all, the packaging. The packaging is so cute. Ah! Honestly, the packaging was like 50% of why I got it. Obviously, it looks really dark. But when I saw her put it on her lips, it actually was a really nice wash. I wonder if you're supposed to keep recapping it every time. You know what was weird though? Is I kept seeing people be like, I want to bite it or can I eat this and stuff like that. I don't know. For me, I don't get those vibes even though I related this to a ring pop. I honestly just thought it looked really satisfying and cool, but not once do I have an urge to bite it. And I like Jello too. So I just thought that was weird, but ah, oh, look at it. Okay, I'm going to swatch it on my hand, but the main reason why I bought this was not to use it on my cheek. I know this is a lip and cheek thing, but I specifically bought this to use on my lips just for like another shade. Oh wait, that was like not enough at all. Okay, so that was a fail of a swatch. I'm just gonna take off my remaining lip balm just because I feel like stains work better when your lips are dry. And oh, it feels really nice. Like it literally feels like jello. But I know this isn't supposed to be moisturizing, but I know Joe bought it for the color. I was debating between this one and then Spritz, which is the coral one. I mean, I might end up buying the coral one in the springtime, maybe during like a 20% off Sephora sale. But for now, I think I'm good with this dark color. It's giving, no joke, like popsicle, but I actually really, really like it. I think it's cute. I've seen people apply this on their cheeks and it just, I mean, Realistically, like this does not look like something that would blend out because it's a stain. And this is so cute. My only worry is that I wonder if during the hot weather, if this would melt, but I love this, the packaging. Oh, I can't get over it. The packaging is so cute. I'm on my way to go to the gym. And the other thing I bought was the Rare Beauty, the basically the under eye brightener. The reason being is that now that I'm 30, even though I use eye cream and serums and all that stuff, I'm starting to get drier under my eyes and I wanted something thinner. And I've swatched this in person, like the texture of this is very thin. So I kind of wanted to use this on my like morning days and then use my heavier, it's not even that heavy, but like my heavier concealers exclusively at nighttime. But I mean, this has been out for a while. It's an under eye corrector. You're technically supposed to use another concealer on top of this as well, but it looks like this. And then the tip is this metal applicator, which is supposed to be like really cooling, but you can already see kind of like the shade. It does have kind of like a pinky under eye corrector, but I just like how liquidy it seems. So yes, maybe I'll test this out later. I'm actually on my way to go to the gym right now. I've been really trying to lose 10 pounds. I'm not trying to lose it, like lose 10 pounds in a month, but so far I've actually lost two and a half pounds. So that's amazing. My goal is to lose 10 pounds by April. So far so good, but yes! Ah! I'm just, this is just so cute. So I'm gonna be using this all the time. And then I popped into Monet really quick just to purchase something, but this, this is not what I purchased, but this Nano Gabrielle bag is absolutely stunning. I believe this has palladium hardware and it's just 
the color alone has me it's stunning 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 and it can actually fit more than you think it would the essay was telling me that this is what a lot of people buy instead of the mini kelly because the mini kelly is obviously hard to get and crazy expensive whereas this price point is a little bit more tolerable and guys i just i can't with the color and i actually love how stiff it is i think this is so cute i feel like i will eventually add this bag into my collection one day i really truly love it and then I went to go stop by to see one of my all-time favorite SAs and I saw this on the shelf and I've actually never seen or knew that Celine made a grained calfskin 16. Honestly, I feel like I like the vibes more of the grained calfskin versus the satinated. What about you guys? What do you guys think? Which one would you pick? <laughs> Okay, style it. Put it on. Let's see. Oh, oh. so cute. I love. Why did you get me? No, Celine. Celine. She said she got the 16. Oh my gosh, she got the new navy color. This is actually not that new. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It's so pretty. Older color. You got the bigger size. It's like Medium. a Hermes yeah. bag. Candy bag. It kind of yeah. looks like No, that's it. what people compare it to because oh. of the top lock opening. But the 16 is super popular. Yeah, wow. this is the size that uh, Lady Gaga has. Yeah. Oh. But the most popular right now is the mini or the small size. I thought it would be a good like work bag. Yeah. I, I love the color that you picked. Thank you. I love you with the to her. Oh, you got the Celine? That one was 3,700 euro. Oh. 149, I think. Yeah. 49, 50. In US, US dollar. Yeah. Oh, US yeah. Because it's so big, that's why. Wow. Yeah. But they actually also had a price increase, so it was cheaper before. Really? Yeah. So the audio got a little messed up, but she basically said that she was debating between the navy blue and the black one, but obviously she ended up picking the navy blue, and she actually was looking to get a Goyard bag, but they didn't have the color that she wanted, so she ended up getting this one. The last oh, one. Ooh, yeah. Chanel. Wow. You see, I should cut the box out. Throw away the box. I wanted to keep it because, you it's know, special. it's the white one. Yeah. It's a 23C, I think. Oh, from the Cruise Collection. Yeah. Wow. Pretty color. Oh my god, we have like almost matching. Oh, you have a I have color? that, but mine's like a little brighter. Mine's called neon blue. I should wear it. We should wear it on the same day. Oh. That'd be so funny. Oh my god. Wait, wow. is that silver? Silver. And then yeah, it's lambskin one? too, right? Yeah, oh, but this is the small size? This is a medium large. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Medium. Oh my god. So pretty. Roll it for us. Pretty Carter. Oh my god, we literally twin. I wish I brought it. What the heck? That's so cute. I love. Yeah, I almost got a jumbo though, because my mom thought the jumbo looked better on me. She, she bought it. Cool. So let me see the she bought it from the. Oh, oh my it's so God. pretty. So Fendi did a collab with Tiffany and Co. Oh, so do you see how the, box, ba yeah. the box is blue? Tiffany. Okay, open it. She has two of those, right? Oh, yeah. I only got one from Fendi. You bought one, and then you got. Oh, I bought one. a bag from Tiffany. They have like a leather goods collection. Oh wow! Oh, blue. Look, no, but if you see the hardware, it has the silver, the sterling silver, the T's. Oh wow! So that's where the collab is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Really? Elegant. It's so. <laughs> but it's very delicate. Yeah, that's like what I want. When I saw this collection online, they had these like mini versions, like a nano version of it, but then even the super wow. tiny one was like 2,500. 
for like this big. Oh my god. Hi guys, so I'm gonna do this a little differently with my hands and we're gonna try to do like a speed review version. So let's get started. So I used up the Abib Yuzu Probiotic Blemish Pads. I actually did like this. I wouldn't say that I saw a significant difference in my acne just because I am on Tret as well. But this was actually very calming. I like the feeling of these pads enough that I ended up buying another Abib version, just a different one, just to try their other ones out. But so far, I really do like this brand. And the next, I have three essences. So the Tatcha and the SK2 one, I'm basically almost done. So I just wanted to feature them together. The Tatcha one, I feel like is a good, I wouldn't say dupe because the ingredients are different, but for my acne prone skin, I actually like the Tatcha one more than the SK2. I got really hooked into buying the SK2 one just because so many Asian influencers swear by SK2, but it's crazy expensive. And to me, it's not worth the price. Like in terms of the results of my skin, I just, I don't know. I feel like I, maybe I'll give it a go in another 20 years, but I'm glad I tried the jumbo one, but yeah, it just didn't do anything for me, but I'm using it up because it's expensive. The Tatcha one used to be my holy grail product when I was in college, but to be honest, my Nua toner just blows it out of the water. I just feel like my skin has improved so much. I don't dislike this. If someone gifted this to me, I would happily use it, but it's just, I found something that I like better for my skin at a cheaper price point. But again, if you wanna buy something luxe, totally recommend this. And then the last one is the Laneige cream skin. I feel like this one is the most popular on social media. Like everybody has this, they do have this available in a refill. I did enjoy this. I liked using this as a daytime toner. And if you have really dry skin, I would totally recommend this. But to be honest, like this kind of milky texture, I personally love my nature -y one more that I got from Japan. And that one is like $8 for triple the amount of this. So yes, the more skincare. So I finished the Outset Squalene Moisturizer. This moisturizer, I think is okay. I feel like it's very simple. It's very clean. If you want to buy this for a friend that doesn't really have problematic skin or like your boyfriend, I feel like this would be great, but it was not a repurchase for me. I do like the packaging though because it's glass and it's blue and white. I think it's cute. And this is Scarlett Johansson's brand, but yeah, not a repurchase, but it didn't make me break out. I actually like to mix this moisturizer in with my retinol when I used it. And then this one took me actually forever to finish, even though this jar is so small. The Yerbe Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. This is actually my second time getting it, but this the second time that I got this, this was a gift. And I actually really do enjoy this. I feel like my skin loves it, but I actually ended up trying the outset, their version of like the micro exfoliation, but I haven't opened it yet, but because I was waiting to finish this up, so now I can use it. Alrighty, some cleansers. So this I love to death. It's from Crave Beauty. I've probably gone through maybe like four bottles of this. I already have a backup. Actually, I have two backups because I stocked up during Black Friday. So this is amazing. It's literally all empty. And then this I no joke bought because I saw Hailey Bieber use this on one of her Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. And it's pretty expensive, like for how small the bottle is. I think this bottle is like $45. Luckily, I got it with, I think my Ulta Beauty points or it was on sale or something like that. But I didn't love it. Like if I had to rate it out of all the oils that I've tried, I would give it probably a six. Let's say this is a 10. I would give this a six, but the ingredients are good. It is really thick. Hailey Bieber said this is her all-time favorite cleansing oil. I mean, the ingredients are good. It's natural. They sell this on Credo and Ulta, but yeah, not a repurchase. Low-key regret buying it, but there you go. Alrighty, some two blush products. So this is actually the old packaging. Right when I bought this, brand new from the website. The dropper just did not work for me at all. So I actually like depotted this and put it in like this little cushion compact that I got from Temu. So this is technically empty. I just find her blushes a little, I don't know, they're kind of sticky. Not really my cup of tea. I don't really know about her new formulation, but her old one, it's okay. But I do love M Cosmetics as a brand in general. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. I actually have a backup of this, but not because I bought the backup. Um, I got the backup as a gift, so I'll use it eventually, but I hate the applicator. I feel like everyone that has this, or if you go to Sephora and even just try out the sample, everyone can agree that this is probably the worst packaging ever. It just gets so messy because of the cap. I wish they would at least just make like a wider cap so it's not everywhere. Like I literally just got it on myself, yeah. It's okay, I definitely like the Peachgasm more. I know 
Madison Beer made pink gasm super viral, but peach gasm I think is definitely more wearable, flattering. Next, we have some lip products. This Fenty Beauty lip treatment situation. I hate this. Like, I hated this so much. The only thing I like about this is the packaging. I mean, you can see now the packaging is in shambles. That's pretty much it. It's basically like, a, yeah, my packaging is in shambles, but it's basically like a tube situation, just like a normal kind of lip gloss, but I found this dried out my lips. Seriously, wearing this for maybe, probably I could only wear this for about a minute, and then my lips felt even drier than when I put it on. I don't know what it was. And then this is one of my all-time favorite lip balms. It is like the lip cushion, but it's in the color Clear Quartz from M Cosmetics. I probably have about four of these. I So these are two empty ones, finally. Like, I literally scraped it out. I love, love her lip cushions. I have every single color and yeah, so I use up two. I think my last two are almost finished, but yeah, so I finished two of these. Some CeraVe products. I'm actually really into CeraVe now. So this is, I believe, my second bottle of this and my third one I already restocked during the Ulta Black Friday sale, except I got the jumbo bottle. I actually really enjoy this. This is a great makeup remover, super gentle, doesn't burn my eyes. And Hailey Bieber actually loves the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. She said it in an interview and that's that's why I ended up trying it. And this one, I actually love, love, love. Like the fact that I repurchased it three times, like that's crazy. And then this was a recommendation because Northwest, I know this is so stupid. You're like, Maggie, you're 30. Why are you influenced? Because that's just how it is. I don't regret being influenced at all. The reason why I even thought about getting this moisturizer was because I saw Northwest using it on her body. And I was like, oh, if this is what Kim buys for her, I must try. I am probably, no joke, on my fifth tub. Like, I love this. And I actually mix this in with the Cora Organics body oil just to make it a little bit thinner. But this is just amazing. Like, amazing. It's kind of expensive, but it lasts for such a long time. I use this all the time. All the time, all the time. Okay, so we're almost done. So this Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, I actually love this. I would repurchase this. However, I'm just waiting for a Sephora sale just because I have other illuminating primers, so I don't really need it right now. So I can just wait until there's a sale. And then this, you can even see that there's still like this much, but honestly, I've had this for a while and it's probably expired. So that's why I'm just tossing it. I think this is just too thick and too oily. I love my rose hip oil. I use that all the time when I'm on retinols, but this is just something else. I don't know. I feel like it's just not my cup of tea. I saw so many influencer girls use this and it looked great on them, but they also have like model skin, like Photoshop skin. So that's probably why they like it, but I'm not a fan. I'm tossing this. Waste of money, definitely. But yeah, I actually really do enjoy this Rare Beauty one. So a couple more makeup items. So this is the Maybelline Last Sensational. This exact one, like the chubby one, is the one that Sophia Richie 10 out of 10 always needs in her makeup bag. She loves it. I actually already had this in my collection when I watched her videos, which was really funny, but this is an actually a really good mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's kind of fat. So I do like this one and I also like the thin one, but if I had to choose between the two, definitely the chubby one more than the thinner one. And then I have this Benefit Brow Setter that I bought. I honestly don't even remember when I bought this. It's not good anymore because now when I put it on, like when it sets, it's just, it's not cute anymore. The next brow gel I definitely want to try is the Rare Beauty one because that one has amazing reviews like amazing but yeah this one was okay it was pretty natural and then some more skincare i'm sorry how grimy this is this is my mario badescu drying lotion it's basically all dried up to the bottom i actually bought this like korean dupe on yes style so i can toss this and i like my korean dupe and it's cheaper and then this caffeine solution for your eyes that i bought from ulta i don't know didn't really do anything for me personally i didn't see any change or depuffing so, but it, it was really inexpensive, so no harm, no foul. The last two items is the Bondi Boost HG Conditioner. Finally finished this with the shampoo. I hated the smell of this. This HG line was just not it for me. And then apparently I was reading on Sephora reviews that this HG line got reformulated, so I don't recommend it anymore. And then I finished a pack of sheet masks that I got from Japan. I actually really, really like this one. I have this one and I finished one that was in gold that was like vitamin C. So this one is with ceramides. And 
and I definitely like the ceramides more but still so far my all-time favorite sheet masks like consistently for price point and just how my skin looks is definitely the Lululun ones but yeah so I finished this sheet mask alrighty so those were all of my empties that I've collected over the past couple months finally I get to throw them away I just feel like it's really funny that I used to be so obsessed with Sephora skincare it was very brand heavy and then now I found so many other Korean and Japanese skincare products that I like so much more my skin likes so much more and they're no joke like a third of the price so love that sorry also for the abrupt ending at my cousin's house basically she was just showing me her bags uh, she actually just started getting into bags in the last like two years so basically my aunt bought her the Celine 16 for her 30th birthday because there was this like brand new Goyard bag that she wanted but unfortunately they didn't have the color that she wanted and she actually told me that she probably won't buy bags in America anymore just because it's so expensive so if she ever does buy bags it's only when she goes to Paris which I think is nice because it helps you control and then makes things a lot more special too but yes as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching if you guys did enjoy today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye guys